Hey everyone, this is Rick Morgan again, and just saying hello. I am traveling, so not cleaning any comic books or doing any research this week, so I'm sharing some customer odds and ends and a little bit of other things. The first is that I did a talk this week on statistical analysis, using statistical analysis to help with green chemistry and sustainability. Uh, I'll print a link of it, link for it, but below you can watch if you like. It's um, it interests me. If it interests you too, then there it is. Also, I wanted to share an uh, email from customer Stephen in Scotland. He writes, Hi Rick, as always I see myself as a student of the Morgan Institute of Comic Care. Uh, I've done some cleaning, pressing, spin roll recovery, and tick removal on a lower grade Spider-Man number one. If you zoom in on the white borders, you can see how dirty the book is as I've started cleaning said borders. Your methods work. Your tutorials work. Immaculate Clean works. Just thought I'd fire over a few before and afters. So I appreciate it. He writes, all best, sir, Stephen. P.S. The makeup pads are filthy on one pass at the at the front cover after an hour of dry cleaning with multiple products, proving while those products get to the surface soil, Immaculate Clean gets the ingrained crud out. Others don't. Well, that's nice. Thank you, Stephen. Here's some of his images. I'll show you the first one. I it is a uh, bottom left corner, and it looks definitely looks pressed, and uh, yeah, it looks cleaner, especially if you look around the O area there. Oh, yeah, that's quite a bit cleaner actually. So that's good. And then what, what else we have here? We have the B. Uh, my photo B, I call it, is the whole front image. Overall, yeah, it looks better. I'm looking at the box where the Spider Woman is, and just the general color sort of left of her underarm webbing. Uh, just overall, yeah, looks better. I'd say for sure. Let's see what else we have here. We have C, what I'm calling image C. Oh yeah, well geez, yeah, you can really tell in the back. It has uh, before and after looks. Yeah, whoa, that was a big one. Okay, and then we have, what do we have? D, my image D is, yeah, pressed well and cleaner. Hard to tell in this picture. Yeah, yeah, it looks cleaner. It's a little harder to tell though because there's so much it's blown out in the whites, right? So it's a little more difficult to see. Um, yeah, looks good. So what do these pads look like? There's pad two, pad one. He's got some dirt on him after he spent an hour of cleaning. You can see the pressure points from his fingers there. Uh, good. Thank you, Stephen. I really appreciate it. He's, he's too kind and he's in Scotland where I like to go. I like Scotland a lot. So I greatly appreciate that. And of course, no uh, customer comment review is complete without uh, detractors as well as supporters. And I received this note in our Instagram uh, posts, our Instagram page, whatever Instagram stuff's called. Uh, and he writes, uh, customer, good customer, supporter, friend, writes, Rick, check out the comments and reply to my mention of a Mac you clean on blah, 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 Facebook groups, Captain Mikey, Captain Mike, pressing permalink uh, and we write back uh, we aren't part of this group so we can't see the comments and he writes lol they deleted my comment since it mentioned a Mac you claim so people don't I guess allow that I'm not sure why and then this is the most interesting part for me and I've seen this over and over again and someone writes he writes so, uh, some comment saying it's floor stripper interesting like a urethane stripping solvent uh, and we write lol that's silly so I'm saying it's dilute dawn I think it means the dishwashing detergent and <laughs> it's dilute dawn why couldn't it just be dawn why does it be dilute dawn I mean that's a level of specific specificity that you add when you're making stuff up you can't you know it, it makes things sound more believable if you say it's you know changed in some way to, you just add one level of specificity adds one level of believability sometimes I think and so it's just saying it's dilute dawn. It's not even the same color as dawn, which is hilarious. I mean, that really shows, I think, that you really just haven't even seen it. If you ever smelled it or interacted with it in any way, but you're just making stuff up. And so that happens a lot. It's really a, an interesting phenomenon that people, some people, of course, most do not, but some people just completely make stuff up because they seem to be putting a lot of energy into finding out what ImmaculClean is, as if it's not just ImmaculClean. It's not something that I just created. It's, they're consumed with the idea that it is another consumer product or chemical compound that, that they're just using. And they all think they know what it is, which is hilarious to me. 
because I'm telling you what it is, which is why it's funny. You don't need to look too much further, I let you know. And then he writes, someone, some say it's sodium caprylyl, caprylyl sulfate, and not explaining if it's bad or not. Okay, and it's not even a sulfonate. Um, so it's just strange, it's very strange that there's a need to like try to figure this out. And then uh, I think my wife replies back to him. She writes, uh, oh, then he says, but they then they deleted the whole comment thread. I think if it's not endorsed in the book, it's, I don't know what the book means, sorry. They must have a, a book about cleaning. Um, and he writes, oh, I think, I think I've heard of it actually. He writes, or my wife writes back, people have been making up stuff about a Mackie clean since the beginning, really, like first week, genuinely. We have our safety data sheet online, so it's not a secret. It works and our customers love it. And out of hundreds of graded books using it has not been, uh, one book has not been returned for a label, which is fine, that's great. We purposely don't follow our watch, Captain M, so we can come up with our own ideas. Okay, I know who this guy, I've, I've run these guys before. And testing uh, and study the science behind what we create and develop. It's honestly the best part of it for us. Yeah, that's true. We don't, I don't really research other people's stuff uh, right now. I mean, I could, I guess. I just, it's not my thing. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. There's this people, like some people really don't like it. I don't know why these, these guys seem to have it in, out for me. Uh, really, there's just a lot of animosity, and I'm just, I've never said anything bad about them ever. And so I'm not sure what they're where their uh, their bad vibes come from, but I'm a good vibes dude, so I'm not gonna yuck anybody's yum. I'm just gonna share comments, good and bad, as, as we see them, so. But otherwise, I will see you guys around online soon, and uh, as you should know, I'm working on many more products, two of which are a pressure sensor for your comic book press to help you gauge and understand what pressure you're using all the time, and I'm working on adding ozone chamber uh, capability and humidity chamber capability to my comic book washing machine and developing to get those things out soon and so i uh, hope you stick around and i'm glad you watched the channel and um anyway just want to say peace out and uh i love you everyone take care